we're going to take a look at here is how to generate repeated games or how to generate the normal form representation of a repeated game. A huge disclaimer, <laughs> just because you can doesn't mean you should, all right? Uh, uh, these games get very big, very fast. So just be aware of that. Um, let's start off by importing NashPy, importing NumPy, uh, and we're gonna build our, our coordination game as before. And now the, the NashPy imported, uh, the NashPy repeated game stuff is in NashPy repeated uh, games, it's an extra import you, you have to uh, to do. And so now we can go, okay, repeated coordination game equals, I could write Nash, I could just write Nash now, repeated games, and I'll just obtain uh, the repeated game. Oops. And what we'll do is we'll write the stage game is the coordination game and the number of repetitions we'll keep as two. Uh, oops. And so we see we have a much larger uh, game. In fact, it's dot, dot, dot. It's, it's rather big. Um, as as you can see, if we wanted to see the shape of those, we could go. Let's go find all the what are the repeated games payoff matrices uh, that we we had. If we take the first one and we just look at uh, the shape, it's a 32 by 32 <clears throat> matrix, and this could be much larger. It is also possible to get the strategies for a repeated game. And again, there are many strategies. In this case, there are, are 32, and they are hidden away in repeated games dash obtain strategy space. Um, and uh, the matrix A is the matrix A, and the repetitions are two again. And now, as always with NashPy, whenever something can be a, a, a generator, it is. And if we just take a look at the first one, we see that this is a mapping from histories to probability distributions over, <coughs> pardon me, over the original action set. So saying, when there's no history, take the first action. When both players have played their first action, take the first action, et cetera, et cetera. <coughs> 